new videos every day. I'm Karina Rachel, and I'm a certified holistic health coach. And today, I just want to share with you some helpful tips and self-massage techniques that I think will be helpful in relieving headaches and simply relieving stress and also to help us get a good night of relaxing and restorative sleep. So if you've clicked on this video, I'd appreciate it if you can let me know if you experience insomnia or trouble sleeping. The more you can let me know about any problems you have related to sleep, relaxation, or even headaches, that really helps me to tailor my future videos to be more effective and helpful to whatever situation that you might be going through. So let me know if you have trouble sleeping or if you feel that you experience high levels of stress. Let's begin. So I'll actually begin by removing these little bobby pins. So I'm going to begin by just using my fingers gently with the objective of really aiming to cover the entire surface area of my scalp with my fingertips. And as a point of reference, I'm beginning right at the center suture my skull, beginning with this side of my head. Now I'm using my fingertips just along my hairline and then behind my ear. And following the hairline all the way down to the nape of my neck. At this point, I'll switch and begin these same motions on the other side. And then repeating that first motion Most of us will go throughout our day with very little stimulation to our scalp. So at the end of a long day, or even at the beginning, it can be very effective to use these self-massage techniques just to bring some fresh 
blood flow into the area and activating all of these different nerve endings on our scalp. So now I'm going to do the same thing on both sides, making this kind of motion on my head, again using a gentle pressure. These introductory massage techniques fall perfectly in line with my first tip. And again, these tips will be useful for pain relief or headache relief, and also just for relaxation and improved quality of sleep. So this first tip is just to pay attention to where there can become stagnant areas of the body or just areas that maybe don't receive much attention or are sedentary most of the day. So for example, most of us spend a lot of time sitting. So something simple that brings motion, movement, and circulation into the legs can be a very effective way of relieving tension throughout the entire body. So simply getting up throughout the day and walking around the office. This could also be as simple as replacing your desk chair with an exercise or yoga ball where just changing the way that we're sitting throughout the day and the muscles that we're using while we're sitting can actually have a very stress relieving effect. So I'm going to continue. Now increasing my pressure slightly. And now these movements are smaller, kind of circular movements of the fingers. And you really should feel free to adapt these different techniques in whatever way feels best and most pain and stress relieving for you. Now with slightly more pressure. So, the last part of this tip is that I'd like to emphasize that yoga and really any type of activity that integrates stretching, movement, and deep breath is going to be a really wonderful way to release tension in different parts of the body. Quite literally, tension and stress can build up 
inside of our body in that different tension can end up being responsible for other pain that we feel in other parts of our body. So a holistic practice like yoga, which really aims to integrate and address all different parts of the body, is very effective for relieving stress, improving relaxation, and the quality of sleep. So, in my second tip, I want to address our habits and our posture. And I know this isn't a very popular topic, but it's a very important one, especially when we consider headaches, relaxation, and sleep. Because once again, this built up tension in our body that can result from poor posture can play a big part in causing the general discomfort and high stress levels that we all seek to remedy. So the first thing is to bring your awareness to your shoulders, to your shoulders. Now many of us, without even realizing it, will actually have shoulders that creep up, especially if we work at a desk. This motion of the shoulders going up and these muscles at the top becoming very tight is all too common. So here are some ideas for helping to remedy the tension that we get in our shoulders and neck. The first thing is just bringing our focus to dropping our shoulders down. So we can actually kind of see a comparison, right? When our shoulders are tense, they come up. Now I am exaggerating it a little bit, but if you start to look around, you will notice that there are some people whose shoulders come up very high. These muscles are very tense all the time. So, just by bringing my attention to this muscle and actively dropping the shoulder down, I'm actually feeling a really juicy stretch in this muscle. And then I can use my fingers palpate the muscle, feel around for any other spots of tension. I hope that you're following along with me here. So I'm just using my fingers to gently pull over this muscle, feeling around for different spots they may be holding more tension than others. And then on the other side, again, starting by bringing the shoulder up, maybe even exaggerating that raised shoulder, so that then you can drop it down. You can even lean your neck 
to one side to really elongate this muscle. And then again, using my fingers to massage into this muscle and welcome more release and relaxation to this area. And using my fingers to just pull this kind of lateral motion from the back to the front. Another important aspect of this tip is to bring your attention to opening your chest. So many of us, especially women, in addition to this, will also do some of this. Now especially if we're hunched over working, or hunched over a desk, a lot of times when we're driving, this natural slouching of the spine and curving of the spine is very common. So to remedy the pain that will result from this closed, hunched position is to open the chest. Now this is something, again, that you will hear a lot in different yoga classes. And there are specific poses whose aim is to open the chest. And they actually call them chest openers. So these chest opening poses in yoga will be very effective for relieving pain and tension the shoulders and neck. So we can go through the motions a few times, just getting our body used to how it feels when our shoulders are hunched and when we've opened our chest, pulling our shoulders back. And if you really accentuate this open chest, you'll actually feel your shoulder blades on your back begin to pull closer together. So dropping the shoulders, opening the chest, and also paying attention to the position of our head over our neck and shoulders. So consistent with this hunched over, curved upper back is what's called forward head posture. And if you do this with me for a second, you'll be able to experience what I'm talking about. When we're hunched over and the shoulders are up and we have a curved upper spine, then if we want to look up at something, we have now kind of craned our neck forward over our neck and you're really crunching all of this back here, the back of the neck. And this forward head posture is a big part of headache tension, okay? Any kind of pain that we feel in our head or in our neck, including jaw pain, okay, which can even, you know, be correlated with this forward head posture. So the remedy is to, once again, just bring our attention to keeping our head centered over our neck, keeping the back of the neck elongated rather than crunched. So for any of these changes in posture that you may be aiming to do, just be patient with yourself. Because any time we want to change our habits, it's just going to take a certain amount of time to 
help those transitions become easier and to replace those bad habits with your new, healthier habits. So being patient with yourself and forgiving with yourself for all those times that you may revert back to the old habit, just know that that's okay and in time you'll be able to adapt these new, better habits. So tip number two was about dropping the shoulders, opening the chest, and keeping the head aligned over our spine, rather than craning it out forward and crunching these muscles at the back of the neck. So in the third tip, I want to show you some different self-massage techniques for the face. Now before we move to the face, I want to just show one other helpful technique on the back of the head and if you do this with me you'll be able to feel what I'm explaining since we don't have a camera to show this to you but if you just take your fingers and reach back just to the base right at the nape of your neck at the base of the skull there's this little ridge this is called the occipital ridge or the occiput. And I'm actually keeping my fingers still and then rotating my head so as to massage this little occipital ridge. This is probably one of my favorite headache relieving techniques and we will make a future video with a camera angle on the back so that you can see these techniques in more detail. But I think this is such an important move, I just had to share it with you. You can even drop your head and then apply even more pressure. Another cool trick is to actually take a large book and wrap a towel around it and you can actually lay down with that towel wrapped book again so as to apply some gentle pressure into the occiput and as with all of these tips you should modify them in whatever way makes them feel best for you. So now moving on to the face. Just like we began in the previous tip, the first thing is just to bring our attention to the muscles in our face and where we might be holding tension in these muscles. So, most common is tension in the brow. So we can think about if we're reading something or worrying about something, we furrow our brow. And these muscles become very fatigued. Okay, and anyone who spends a long time staring at a computer screen or reading really small print will probably start to develop a really horrific headache right about here. So the remedy, number one, is bringing our attention to that area, noticing when we're furrowing our brow, catching ourselves in that bad habit of furrowing the brow, 
and just making a conscious effort to relax those muscles. I can find that raising up my eyebrows can help to kind of give the reverse motion to that furrowing. So once we've relaxed our brow, we can use our fingertips very gently to massage the different parts of the brow. And I actually like to take my fingers just over the full length of the eyebrow. And if you're anything like me when you do this, you will detect some little areas of tension. And when you find those little spots where it feels especially tight or tender to the touch, you can just hold them a little bit longer and breathe into those areas. Now, especially in this ridge, right here. So this would be just kind of underneath the eyebrow bone. And you can apply pressure here. And this is one of the best headache relieving techniques for me. So I'm applying kind of an upward pressure when you feel your skull under here, right? You'll be able to feel how you can apply kind of direct upward pressure into this area. And once again, just feeling around to see what feels best for you. It may be putting pressure in this direction, up into this ridge. But then there are some people who actually find more relief holding the end of this bone beneath the eyebrow. So we can just take this movement a couple of times. Continue this motion on these muscles above the eyebrows. And of course, at the end of your eyebrows, we have our temples. Now it is important to never apply direct pressure or significant direct pressure directly on the temples. So the amount of pressure that I'm using here at the edge of my eyebrows is much more intense than what I would use actually over my temples. It can feel really nice to massage the temples, but you want to do it very gently. Moving down the face, we now get to our jaw. Now our jaw is one of our busiest and strongest areas of the body. So once again, beginning by just bringing our attention into the jaw, 
noticing. Are we clenching our teeth? If you're clenching your teeth, you'll actually feel, you'll be able to feel this muscle while you're doing it. If you have TMJ or if you grind your teeth at night, then you're very familiar with what the tension in this jaw area feels like. So once again, just using my fingertips to palpate the different muscles surrounding the jaw. I'm using a medium amount of pressure here, but I'm feeling a lot of relief. You'll also find some nice juicy spots here under the cheekbones. And again, if we kind of consider what we talked about at the beginning of this video, just by bringing circulation into different areas of the body, we'll have a lot of tension released just by this fresh blood and fresh oxygen that's being moved and welcome into these different areas of the face and neck. And massaging behind the ears. Another really good juicy place for tension to hang out. And again, I'm feeling how nice it feels to just use my fingers to massage the back of my neck. Coming back to where I began. With these movements on the scalp. And you can also gently tug on the hair. I've also read that massaging the scalp can be effective for stimulating hair growth. And I think that makes perfect sense because, once again, we're just welcoming fresh circulation of both blood and lymphatic fluid into these different areas that are oftentimes holding a lot of tension. In closing, I just want to reiterate the importance of drinking lots of water, eating a clean diet of fresh, natural foods. Because the more that we have highly processed foods and highly refined foods in our diet, these are just going to contribute to a poorer state of overall health, increased levels of stress, and increased levels of toxicity in the body. So something simple, like just drinking more water, can be an incredibly effective way of, even, of easing stress, helping us to sleep better, relax more easily, and experience a great relief 
of pain and tension throughout the body. My last tip is to get more fresh air. We've talked a lot about welcoming oxygen into areas of tension and stress in our body. And the best source of rejuvenating, renewing oxygen is simply to step outside and take a deep breath of fresh air. Sunlight is also incredible. Seeing the trees, the flowers, the green grass, all of the beauties that nature has to offer us. And each of these things will help to aid in our relaxation, release of stress, so that we can get more restorative and high quality sleep. If you'd like to learn more about me and my health coaching practice, you can visit me online at KarinaRachel.com. I do hope that you will share your feedback with me and let me know what you thought about this video. I look forward to seeing you again in the future and to seeing all of your feedback, comments, requests, and questions in response to this video. Till next time, I wish you the best, most relaxing, and restorative of sleep. And I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Thanks so much for watching. Can experiment with what feels best for you. To make circles or to just put straight, firm, direct pressure into the area. A big contributor to headaches is what's called forward head posture. And this is where our head starts to lean forward over our body. Usually this is a result of looking at a computer screen, right? So we crane our head forward and then we are to look up so that we can see. And what you'll notice is that now far out over my neck and it's tilted up. So this forward head posture totally crushes 